What is up, my Andronauts? You might have heard about saved muesli, which is good for increasing free testosterone, but have you heard about a black muesli? Some people would say that black muesli is much better for increasing free testosterone than saved muesli. All right, so in this video, I want to discuss the effect of black muesli on free testosterone and some of the other benefits that it might also have. So let's dive in. This is a good study where they looked at black muesli on total and free testosterone. This was in animals. The extract that they US used was called blamus, which was standardized to 30% of the active ingredient called curculigocytes. Curculigocytes. Anyway, uh, total testosterone decreased by 22%. Free testosterone went up by almost 40%. The dose that they used, the human equivalent dose, would be 8.11 milligram per kilogram. So if you're weighing about 100 kilogram, the dose needs to be roughly 800 milligrams. And this is the highest dose that they used that resulted in the best increase in free testosterone. So you can see that this was the placebo group, 10 milligram per kilogram, 25 milligram per kilogram, and 50 milligram per kilogram of this black muesli extract. And with the increased dose of black muesli, testosterone went down. The bigger the dose, the bigger the drop in testosterone, but the bigger the increase in free testosterone, right? So this might be seen as a interesting and fair trade-off, but I don't know if it's a good thing when you get an increase in free testosterone at the expense of total testosterone. There are better ingredients out there that can increase total and free testosterone at the same time. So I'm not really a big fan of this drop in testosterone despite the increase in free testosterone. Then they also looked at pendiculatory activity. And this, the reason I added this because it was so funny that they used this term. So if you can imagine a pendulum, right, swinging back and forth, what does that represent? Hanky panky time, right? These guys were clearly very creative with their with their language use. All right, so this was the herb on sexual function. You have hesitation time, and then also the attraction. Right, so hesitation time is like how long it takes you to approach the female and then attraction is obviously how horny you are how how badly you want to have sex so the control groups had low attraction and high hesitation time and then you have they compared asparagus to saved muesli and also black muesli the hesitation time dropped with this asparagus this was not regular asparagus this was called shatavari then we have saved muesli. It dropped the most with saved muesli and then also with black muesli. But you can see saved muesli was the best at the decreasing hesitation time. In terms of attraction, you have the control. It increased in all of these, but it seems to increase the most in saved muesli compared to black muesli. So at least based on this study on sexual function, saved muesli was actually better at reducing hesitation time and increasing attraction, basically increasing sexual function compared to black muesli. Right, so if I had to choose between black muesli and saved muesli, I'd probably just go with saved muesli. It's not going to lower your total testosterone. It can still increase free testosterone, and it's going to be better at increasing sexual function than black muesli. Right, there's no need to go with something that's more niche. Right. It also has been shown to improve testicular function. So this is one of the benefits that I do like about the black muesli. The results demonstrate a dose-dependent improvement in the structural integrity. So when you, for example, do mountain biking and you're constantly whacking your nuts up against a seat or you're sitting long periods of time, so there's a lot of heat on the nutsack, all of this will damage and compromise the integrity of the nutsack. And so black muesli has been shown to dose dependently improve the stu structural integrity of the nutsack, improve its testicular health, which results in better fertility, but it doesn't seem to result in better or higher testosterone levels for sure. Then we have black muesli on neurotransmitters. So this was content of dopamine, content of norepinephrine, content of serotonin, and also BDNF levels. So uh, it increased dopamine and dose dependent response. It also seems to increase norepinephrine in a dose-dependent response. Then we have serotonin. It increases serotonin in a dose-dependent response. And it increases BDNF in a dose-dependent response, which is all good and well. But when you look at Shilajit, one of my previous videos, Shilajit increases dopamine, but not really serotonin, which is going to be better for exercise performance and ultimately sexual function as well. Serotonin promotes that sexual satisfaction state. It can, in excessive amounts, contribute to anhedonia and low libido. But it's all coming down to the balance between dopamine and serotonin. When serotonin increases in excessive in relation to dopamine, this is when you run into issues. But when both increases, you don't really get much side effects. But it all depends on how your body is metabolizing your dopamine and serotonin. right? So if it's rapidly breaking down dopamine, but not serotonin, even if it increases both at the same time, you're still going to end up with more serotonin because it's not being rapidly broken down in relation to your dopamine. 
So here are some additional benefits of black muesli. And this is basically what the plant looks like. It's obviously not muesli that you eat in the morning, obviously. It's used as a tonic, demulsant, diuretic, and a restorative agent. It's also used as a medical cure for piles, which is also known as hemorrhoids. Asthma, jaundice, which is liver dysfunction, diarrhea, colic, gut issues, of course, and gonorrhea, which is an STD. And this plant has been shown to be hepatoprotective. It protects the liver, it stimulates the immune system, and it has antioxidant benefits. All right, so my thoughts on black muesli is that it's not a bad thing to use, right? It does have a lot of benefits on the testicles, on the testicles. it improves sexual function, it increases your beneficial neurotransmitters. But then ultimately, it lowers your total testosterone, which I'm not a big fan of. Obviously, that's just one study. We need more studies to confirm if that's actually what black music does. But it does seem to be effective in increasing free testosterone. So maybe if you do combine it with other compounds that does increase testosterone, it might offset the detriment that you get from black muesli. So if it's part of your stack, it might not be as bad. But if you use it as a sole thing, it will increase your free testosterone, probably at least studied in humans but it might also decrease your free test your total testosterone, which might not be a good thing. All right, guys, so I hope you learned something new. If you would like to maximize your testosterone, have an ebook on that. Link is in the description, and I will check you in the next one. Cheers, guys.